So we have an entire video on if and when to take medications. Um, I know that a lot of people do not want to start levodopa. Um, I'm not going to get into a lot of detail about this here because we have an entire video designed to address whether or not um, the time is right for you to start dopaminergic medications. I just want to be really clear up front, I am a big fan of starting medications early. As I've already said, you've had this disease for decades. Many of you don't even realize how many of your non-motor symptoms are due to the Parkinson's disease. I don't think there is a rush. You've had this for a long time. Take the prescription that your physician offers you when you're diagnosed, but don't rush to fill it. Um, you, you're, like, like I said, this is a slowly progressing disease and you have some time. So what we wanna do is kind of um, dispel any sense of urgency. Right? If you've had this disease for 20 years, you sure as heck can wait another couple months to, to learn about the disease, to get your bearings, to meet some other people with Parkinson's disease, to go to some support groups, to look online about the good, the bad, the ugly, and get different people's opinions. You do not have to rush out to the store today and start this medication. You've had this disease a long time, and I want you to just take a couple months to kind of get your head wrapped around what this means. Um, but generally speaking, I am an advocate for getting started on medication early. I can't see how you do yourself any favors to, to continue to deprive your body of a necessary neurotransmitter. If you were deficient in vitamin C, you would take vitamin C. If a physician told you, hey, for whatever reason, your body can't make enough insulin, you would supplement, you would take insulin, right? For us to say, hey, your brain is not making enough dopamine, my advice is take dopamine. I don't see any value to playing this game with yourself. How long can I continue to deprive myself of this necessary neurotransmitter before I give my body what it wants? That just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, they actually have done some studies to find out if people who start medication early, does that make their disease progress faster, or slower? And the answer is neither. It does, starting your medications at the time of diagnosis, even if you're young, does not make Parkinson's progress faster or slower, but what it does do is it improves your quality of life. I say that, but I also wanna say that I think levodopa sparing strategies are really, really important. Um, you can't have a healthcare team where every time you have a new symptom of Parkinson's disease, the answer is take more dopamine. You're gonna run into trouble. That's how you get dyskinesia. That's how you burn your bridges with this absolutely essential medication. Over the course of these videos, I'm going to teach you all kinds of levodopa sparing strategies, ways for you to treat this disease that aren't dopamine dependent. That's my goal here. So, so I want you in to, sim to simultaneously really appreciate that there is this inexpensive, easy, readily available um, amino acid that you can take that is kind of like correcting a nutritional deficiency. Your body doesn't have enough dopamine, we're giving you dopamine things start working again properly. Um, and so, and, and realize that I don't want, as you live with this disease for the next couple decades, every time there's another problem, you just take more pills, right? And so that, that's kind of the balance here that we're trying to strike.